This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, February 12th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm out hiking the Jim Shug Trail near Dryden Lake in upstate New York today. And all this week we've been talking about beloved community using the discussion prompts from the small group ministry Soul Matters program that we participate in. I'm recording this in advance. I'm actually recording this on Friday the 5th. So I hope by this point in the week there's been a, a lively conversation in the comments about this topic that's really near and dear to what we do in religious communities and Unitarian Universalist communities. And the reflection yesterday ended a little bit of a downer on how it's a danger in Unitarian Universalism when we see each other as insufficiently committed to the work of building a beloved community, that when that happens it can be really difficult to stay at the table with each other. So the reflection today really picks up from that place, which is, how are you healing from having your hopes for beloved community dashed? Because we know that they will be, as the nature both of having hope and being in churches, is that it is almost impossible live a whole life and not be disappointed by the community that we're in. I had a, a dear mentor, I think another board member when I was in Baltimore, tell me that people join churches twice. The first time is when you sign the membership book, and the second time, the time when you really, really join a church, is when it breaks your heart and you decide to stay anyway and make it better. So how do we recover? How do we heal from when our hopes are dashed? We talked about, I talked about this implicitly in the sermon last Sunday when I quoted Ken Tenor. I'm just going to quote that again. It may be incomplete, but it is a beginning, a step along the way, an opportunity for the Lord's grace to enter and do the rest. We may never see the end result, but that is the difference between the master builder and the worker. We are workers, not master builders, ministers, not messiahs. We are prophets of a future, not our own or in language that we've used often in a song in our third Thursday services. Over the Rhine writes, as for your tender heart, this world's gonna rip it wide open. It ain't gonna be pretty, but you're not alone. Because all my favorite people are broken. Believe me, my heart should know. Now look, the, the world breaks our hearts in millions of ways in big ways and in tiny ways, in ways that happen in a moment and in ways that are a hard realization over months or years. That is part of this process of being human. And there's plenty of times that I've thought, here's the thing that's going to bring about beloved community where I'm at. And there are many, many times where it hasn't, or that it's descended into conflict, and that it doesn't have the effect that we hoped. That's life. But the scale is what helps me heal from those heartbreaks. This isn't up to us 
not holy. We're workers, not master builders. Ministers, not messiahs. So the healing part for me is always taking my conception of belovedness back to smaller scales. My family, my block, this church, back to my family again. And we say that we're about transforming ourselves in the world. And that's true. We transform the world one day, one person at a time. So when setbacks come, and they do, the sun rises tomorrow. See you on Monday. I'll leave this video going for a little while if you want to stay on this trail with me.
Thank you for your presence. See you on Sunday.